Let's now add a rotation with our reverse lunge. So start with body weight, and once you've got that down, you can hold a dumbbell or kettlebell or ball forward of your chest. Step your feet hip width apart, and step back into your reverse lunge. This is a normal reverse lunge, so knees and toes remain in the same lane, front knee over midfoot, back knee hovers off the floor, creating that straight line up through the crown of your head, core engaged. When we're here at the bottom of this reverse lunge, now we rotate over the side of the front knee. Come back to center, drive through this foot in the front to come up to standing. Here are some things we don't want. We don't want to step back, go down into our reverse lunge, and then really twist super far here so that we lose the form, where now my hip back here is trying to come forward. I'm getting all out of alignment, and I can feel this in my lower back. We don't need to twist super duper far with this. We also don't want to arch our back. So it's a change of direction, yes, but it's at an angle. It doesn't need to be all the way directly to the side. We also don't want to be rounding our back or arching our back. And you may feel that your front knee wants to cave in as you rotate. Resist that using the side of your glutes on that front side to help pull that knee aligned with your feet. So it's pressing out, aligning with your toes. Drive through that front foot, come up to standing. Here it is with a dumbbell. As you get more comfortable with this, you can add the rotation as you lower down versus keeping the reverse lunge and the rotation as separate moves.